There's a recent reform that's been passed and this has been one of Australia's largest reforms after three decades and that's the media reform. Does this bill now risk media monopolisation and could this actually change democracy as we know it in Australia? We're going to take to the city of Perth today and find out what people think about that and what their opinion is if one TV network claims to be the representation of the city. What are your thoughts about media monopolisation and uh, does it start to risk democracy? Um, yeah, definitely. If you've got a monopoly over a certain area, then you've got control of the area. And as a human species, we're very easy to manipulate and to direct in a certain pathway. And if they've got all that power and all that influence with all the right sponsorships behind it, then we will follow that like sheep practically. It's, um, it's very dangerous, like you say. And there's no real control out there. No, who's to say what's true? Well, I'm really concerned about it because I think the way media is today and the way um, digitisation is going, it'll never happen. You know, um, Facebook, um, um, Twitter, all that is now the media of today. So, you know, I don't think monopolisation is really going to be an issue anymore at all. Um, so that's my general opinion on it, that the people will have the power anyway on what they want to listen to or what they don't want to listen to. Well, yes, if you're led to believe that this is something that's fundamentally true when it's re repeated not only by the station but by the newspaper. So people will get an idea that this is what is basically true and this is what is happening in the community when it's not true at all or it, there needs to be another point of view. Uh, that's a two-part question. Uh, answer is yes, it is happening, and B, it should not be. Um, the minute anything, any organisation, whether it be a small business or a large corporation, becomes uh, privatised, as in they, they stop becoming a public organisation in the interest of the public which they serve, and which they actually create their product for, and they basically serve themselves. And once they've taken the focus off the customer and onto themselves, they've lost it. And they basically come about the money and the greed and the, and the global uh, and the, basically the domination of the market. The more market piece, the share of the pie that they get, the happier they are. They're not interested in better media or more complete coverage or honest journalism. They're interested in the bottom line. And the bottom line is how much money is in their bank account. They care about nothing else. So the answer is yes. Up until recently, uh, the government's uh, passed a law uh, that it's actually permissible for a, a, a TV station to buy a radio network and, uh, and a newspaper all in the same territory. Whereas prior to that uh, law being passed, it was actually illegal to have that yeah. monopoly. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. There was a lot of those laws in place there. Um, I, I, I think that that could be open slather. I really do, mainly because of the reason I put before, because we don't... You know, not, not, you know, free TV, Foxtel, pay TV, um, yeah, Facebook again. It is that is it's so open slather now. I just if they want to invest in buying more newspapers or more TV stations, more radio stations in the one town, let it be, let it be. Because we'll soon wake up that there's going to be a, a consensus. Well, we're sort of being fed at the same story everywhere. We, we we're smart enough now to wake up to that. So I don't, I don't think it's a concern at all. I would think so, yes, because then they are monopolising and they have control over the audience, the control over the content that, that they're showing. So I would think so, yes. Is that something that you think would be good for humanity and for uh, Australia or Perth, or do you think it's a dangerous thing? I think it's happening all around the world. If you look at America, CNN, and how it's happening in European countries, so more and more media channels are just getting too big. They're controlling everything, like what we do, where we go, what we hear, what we see. So it shouldn't happen, but that's how it's happening around the world. Like I said before, it is very dangerous for one person to have a monopoly. Um, you look at like people like Rupert Murdoch back in the UK, owns everything. And if you've got certain political powers, like you know, going for elections and you've got one bloke who's in charge of it all, he's going to tell you to vote for the person that he wants you to have. Obviously, they have to promote everyone else, but you can... You know, you can put icing on a cake and you can ignore the other piece of cake. It's, um, it's very easily to influence us in those sort of ways and it's dangerous. It's very dangerous in my opinion and it shouldn't be that way. Do you think any particular network or TV network has a, um, 
uh, an accurate representation Not of so uh, of Perth networks, City? Because they're basic, networks are basically pawns themselves. But the owners of the networks, yes, there is a certain amount of groups that basically they're trying to monopolise, and they have. They've already done it. Fairfax, um, the the. Um, uh, the the Melbourne media group, uh, Packers and all that, uh, and you got your Americans, you got all your all um, you got your your, your Fairchilds and all that. They're all their billions are rested into the future, and then that's that's media, that's that's pharmaceuticals, that's government, that's uh, etc. So yeah, absolutely, they they control it because they're the ones with the bottom line, and basically it's their agenda, not anyone else's. From time to time, yes, but these days all information is coming through the web, so no one's actually watching the news; they're just surfing the net. Yep. So yeah. It's very hard to say which channel is representative yep. of both. I have more faith in the ABC presentations and the SBS rather than the commercial ones. Yeah, I, I, that, yeah. I think as we get older, you tend to get a bit more stayed in in traditional type news, <coughs> whereas the other news tends to be a little bit. They're trying to keep up with the trend a bit more, and but we, we really just want straight news. That's what we want. Just good, honest news. Probably could do with a bit more positive news. I think the negative news gets too much of it, the dramatisation of it. Um, I think they should, you know, a bit more positive news would probably go down much better too. A bit more of a balance there. Bass Tadros for Undercurrent. <laughs>